day, student. My name is Ambali Rasa Kolabanji. I will be your physics teacher for today's lesson. Topics, transformer, and its calculation. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to analyze the concept of transformer with emphasis on principle of transformer, uses of transformer, why the core of transformer are laminated, why it is preferred to have high potential difference, PD, instead of high current transmission over a long distance, and solving simple quantitative problems on transformer. Transformer. A transformer is a device that is used to either raise or lower voltage and current in an electrical circuit. I repeat, a transformer is a device that is used to either raise or lower voltage and current in an electrical circuit. A transformer consists of primary and secondary coil in the same soft iron core as illustrated in the diagram below. An alternative current AC enters through the primary coil and generates line of force which link the secondary coil. As the alternative current rises and falls, the magnetic field it generates, which links the secondary core, also rises and falls, thus developing an induced current in the secondary. And associated induced EMF is also developed across the terminals of the secondary coil. Experiments show that the induced EMF in the secondary coil and the applied EMF in the primary coils obey ratio law. That is, induced EMF V2 over applied EMF V1 is equal to number of secondary tones N2 over number of primary tones N1. A step-up transformer has more tones in the secondary coil than in the primary coil. A step-down transformer has many tons in the primary coil than in the secondary coil. The two diagrams illustrated the two. In the first diagram, we have step-up transformer. The number of tons in the primary is lower than the number of tons in the secondary. In the second diagram, which is a step-down transformer, the number of tons in the primary is far greater than the number of tons in the secondary. Uses of transformer. One, transformers are used to boost voltage levels so as to decrease line losses during transmission. Two, it can increase or decrease the value of capacitor or inductor or resistor in an AC cycle. It can thus act as an impedance transferring device. Three, it can be used to prevent DC from passing from one cycle to the other. And four, it can isolate two cycles electrically. That is, when you have two cycles beside each other, when you have a transformer, it can isolate them. It can isolate two cycles electrically. Efficiency of a transformer. In practice, we don't have transformer with 100% efficiency. One reason is that eddy current is usually produced in the soft ion and this leads to a loss of energy in the transformer. To reduce eddy current, the core is usually laminated in thin strips. Other measures decide to reduce losses of energy in a transformer bracket open and thus increases efficiency bracket closes are illustrated below we will stop here efficiency of a transformer in practice we don't have transformers with 100 percent efficiency what is seen is that eddy current is usually produced in the soft ion and this leads to a loss of energy in the transformer to reduce this eddy current, the core is usually laminated in thin strips. Other measure designed to reduce loss of energy in the transformer and thus increase its efficiency are one. The core is designed in such a manner as to ensure that all the line of forces generated in the primary are linked with the secondary. 
The core is made of soft magnetic material to minimize the energy required to effect the reversal of the line of force. Three, the copper coil are made of material of low resistance so that energy losses through heating are minimized. Power transmission. It is preferable to transmit a given amount of electrical power at high voltage and low current. Such pattern of transmission help to reduce energy losses as each along the distribution wire. For this advantage, transformers are readily employed to step up the EMF generated at a main power station before transmission over long distance. The high EMF is stepped down at local power station and in household using step down transformer. It is generally easier and cheaper, that is, less energy is lost, for a transformer to change the voltage from high to low and vice versa if the voltage is of the AC type, unlike the DC type. For this reason, long distance electrical power transmission is again carried out by alternative current AC. Thus, over long distance, the national grid system uses AC source and transmit at high voltage and low current. Worked example. Activity 1. The primary coil of a transformer has 400 tons, while its secondary has 40 tons. If the input voltage is 100 volt, what is the induced EMF solution? Using the formula, induced EMF all over applied EMF is equal to number of secondary tons over number of primary tons which give us this value, induced EMF over 100 is equal to 40 over 400. Thus, induced EMF is equal to 40 times 100 all over 400, which give us 10 volts. Activity 2. The National Electric Generation Authority transmit 300,000 watts through a national grid at 30,000 volts. What is the magnitude of electric current transmitted? Solution. Electric power is equal to IV watt, where I represents current. Therefore, I is equal to power over voltage. Thus, I will now be 300,000 over 30,000, which will give us 10 ampere. Activity theory. A step-up transformer is designed to operate from a 25 volt supply and deliver energy at 300 volts. If the transformer is 95% efficient, determine the current in the primary when the output terminal are connected to 240 volt 80 watt lamp. Solution. Let the current in the primary be IA and since efficiency is 95%, Power output is given by 95% of power input. We'll be going on break. After the break, we continue. Thank you. I will repeat the question again. Activity theory. A step-up transformer is designed to operate from a 25 volt supply and deliver energy at 300 volts. If the transformer is 95% efficient, Determine the current in the primary when the output terminal are connected to 240 volt 80 watt lamps. Solution. Let the current in the primary be IA. Since efficiency is 95%, power output is given by 95% of power input. Therefore, power output will be 95 over 100 times power input which goes down to give us 95 over 100 times 25 times IA, which is the current. Hence, power output is equal to 23.75 IA. However, power output is 80 watts. Therefore, 80 will be equal to 23.75 IA, making IA the subject of the formula. Right, therefore, 80 over 23.75 will give us 3.35 ampere. Activity 4 A transformer which supplies 15 ampere 
when connected to a 220 volt mains, takes 1.5 ampere from the main when used to light nine 1.5 volt 30 watts lamp connected in parallel. Determine the efficiency of the transformer and the cost of using it for 15 hours at 5 cobalt per kilowatt hour. Solution. Power input. 220 times 1.5 will give us 330 watts. Each of the bulb takes 30 over 15 will give us 2 ampere. Therefore, 9 bulbs we take 9 times 2 will give us 18 ampere. Also, current from the transformer will be 18 ampere. Power output will be 18 times 15, which will give us 270 watts. Efficiency, which is power output over power input times 100. That gives us 270 over 330 times 100. Therefore, efficiency will give us 82%. Power input is 330 watts. When used for 15 hours, that will give us 330 times 15 watt hour, which is equal to 4.95 kilowatt hour. But 1 kilowatt hour costs 5 cobalt. Therefore, 4.95 kilowatt hour will be 5 times 4.95 cobalt, which gives us 24.75 cobalt. Assignment A power station transmitted 15 kilowatt of electrical energy through a cable of resistance 0 0.8 ohms at A240 volt and B. 250,000 volts. Compare the power in the two situations. Solution to the assignment is given on the screen. Attempt your own and compare your own answer with the solution on the screen. Reference. Number one, a new physics course for senior secondary school, book theory, by Professor P. N. Opala and Aro Ambali. And the second one, internet. Thank you very much.